Hey there, Angela Wolf here, and uh, the studio's a little crazy today. So as you all know, I'm getting ready to leave to Austin for the brother experience, which is gonna be fantastic. Of course, I'm making new outfits. I've got to hide pretty much everything in my studio until next week. I cannot wait to share with you. Wolfpack, you're gonna love it. So pop in, say hi. I am live streaming on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter and Twitch, but the best places to comment are YouTube and Facebook because then you can hang out with your friends. So a couple of things. Some of you asked, what are you going to wear? And I said, I have no idea. I don't know why I always wait till the very last moment, but I finally came up with three very cute designs. And of course, it's going to include embroidery. So I think Cindy King the other day said, will you show us how you did your sleeves on the black mesh tap, the black mesh top using my new embroidery collection. I thought, oh, that's a great idea because <laughs> I think I'm gonna use that for one of the outfits. Now, Austin's really hot. So a long sleeve tool top or tool shirt might be a little warm, but you can sure do short ones and they're just gonna look like removable tattoos. So I have a few ideas for you. I'm gonna show you, first I'm gonna hoop my tool to show you how I do it with the magnetic hoops. I love this technique and I think you're gonna like it too. And then I'm gonna take you to the machine, bring up a few of my designs and lay out my sleeves so you can see what this looks like. I'm gonna be embroider a few different sleeves and then once I wash them all up, that's when I decide which one I'm actually going to cut. So if you have a preference on colors I'm using, I'm still working on I don't know, I think summery. I've got some beautiful Ponte knits, a beautiful like rich orange. I think that would be beautiful. I also have a, a pink. You gotta go pink. I have to have pink somewhere. We'll go with that. And I also have a beautiful black, but I haven't decided which colors to use. Let me take you over. I've got my table all set up here. <laughs> my few itsy bitsy cameras that aren't focused on all the new stuff here. Yeah. So right on that table right there, you can see there's a bunch of tool. And that tool fabric is what I use for some of my garments. Now, sometimes I use mesh and sometimes I use tool. So I've already embroidered my mesh sleeves. Those are already in the wash rinsing off. So with the mesh, I use sticky back wash away stabilizer. With the tool, I just use wash away. There isn't enough fabric, in my opinion, to have the tool and sticky back. It's just a lot of sticky, if you know what I mean. I heard Austin sticky enough as it is, <laughs> being the hotness it is. So let me take you over there and I'll show you how I do this. And by the way, while I'm doing this, we are wishing Amanda good luck at the fair. She entered her garment that's gonna be on Fabric to Fashion when once that show launches. And uh, so we're wishing her good luck. Hopefully she, uh, I think they're announcing it right now or they're taking somewhere around this exact time. So good luck, Karen and Amanda, and let us know how, how it works out. All right, so let's go to the table. And by the way, it's so great to see all of you. <laughs> I saw Sandra saying, burr. Well, that's in the winter. I'm kind of just, I play that every once in a while, just so I can remember how appreciative I am right now for summer in Michigan. Okay. So I have wash away stabilizer. This is what I have. This is my brand, the Angela Wolf brand, but there are other brands out there as well. Uh, it just feels like fabric. So it's not sticky at all. Here's my tool. And when you're choosing tool fabric, it does have what I would say a grain line. This is the salvage over here, and it stretches a little bit long ways, but it stretches a lot more going side to side. Feel that fabric, because there are so many different variations of tulle. If you feel this fabric and it's rough against your skin, guess what? It's gonna be rough against your skin. Now I chose this color here. Look at, you can't even tell I have fabric on my arm. And I have a pretty good tan. When you first look at this, you think, oh, that's gonna be too light. No, it absolutely disappears on your skin. Well, kind of. <laughs> so that's what I'm using for my sleeves. I think because it's kind of cold in the buildings, I'm thinking of doing a long sleeve or a three quarter length sleeve for one of my dresses. I haven't made up my mind yet, uh, but we'll at least get started. This is kind of how I do my design process. 
So this is the magnetic hoop for brother. Absolutely love it. And it's just about almost the size of my arm. Almost. So if I wanted to have a full sleeve, I'll have to do part of the sleeve and then have another bit going down. But I'm really thinking of the three quarter length sleeve just because it's Austin. So I'll just cut a piece like this. Now, if I was planning on making this a long, a longer sleeve, then I would go this way and make sure I had some extra, whatever length I needed for that. Yeah, my friends in Austin said it's really hot. <laughs> okay, I got it. I like the heat. Test me, throw it on me. So let me make sure this is my salvage over here. Yeah, and it stretches this way. So I'll line up my sleeve where I have a little fabric on each side because I will cut my sleeve pattern after I embroider. Make sense? I know I love this fabric. You can't even see it. It's like it's invisible. There, that way is nice and straight. I'll go ahead and take this end. Oh, there's pins stuck on here. You gotta love the magnets. And right here, nah, that one puckered a little bit. So just gonna look at this one more time. There, that's better. And I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of slide these in place, holding the fabric nice and flat. By using these smaller ones at the top, kind of gives me a little better of a handle on how this up here is going to look. I don't want it to be puckery at all. It's looking good. What machine am I using to embroider on the Luminaire? Of course, because uh, that's my favorite. Personal preference, and you all know I'm a brother brand ambassador, so I actually love all their machines, but the Luminaire just seems to be my fave. All right, so I'm making sure I've got just enough room right here to get this onto uh, the machine. So look up here in this corner here. You just need to make sure you have an opening just you can slide this onto the machine. That looks pretty good. So this is basically all I have. Now, my um, stabilizer is totally skewed here, but it really doesn't matter. I'm just using it for this section here anyway, so I'll leave it. Let me see. That'll be plenty to get around my arm. All right, let's go to the machine. Any questions on that so far? Pretty easy. <laughs> I do too, Lorraine. Definitely. All right. Everybody's wishing you luck, Karen and Amanda. I don't know if you're watching the show, but we are wishing you a ton of luck. I think there's, um, who else was entering some things in the county fair? A few of you were. So keep us posted on how you're doing. Uh, Amy, how tight are you hooping the fabric? It's tight. I don't want any wrinkles, but you're not pulling on it because tool will rip, which is not good. So I'm just laying it as flat as I can lay it flat. All right, let's head over to the sewing machine. Hey, Darlene, we can see you now. <laughs> oh, Joanna, you entered some quilts. Very good, very good. All right, I think it's this camera. I hope it is, <laughs> because I have no idea at this point in this week on the studio. All right, so in here, those of you that have the luminaire, you can follow along. If you don't, well, uh, you can still get the idea of how I line up these designs. So I'm clicking on embroidery. I have my designs with a USB stick on the side. Hey, Carolyn, that was 
uh, my Angela Wolf wash away stabilizer. That's what I used. Oh, I just saw a design on here though. How cool. How big is this? I just totally squirreled on you. Is that the butterfly right there? Yeah, how big is that? Oh man. Well, that's bigger than my arm. Otherwise, that would be super cool. All right, back to where I was going. Going into my designs here. So in, when I click this button here, I have final edit for my designs. This is, these were my personal, my personal collection here before we launched the designs. This is how I test them all. So I like to do rows of, rows of embroidery. For example, I have, I'm doing a pencil skirt and I want rows of embroidery down the center. So if I scroll down to some of these designs here, these are all in a row. Let me see what these look like. So those are little flowers. How about, oops, I went back too far. Hmm. I'm thinking these might be pretty cute. Click set. You can see that there. I'll bring you a little closer. Those will make a nice line. So I could have maybe those down one line, something else in the middle, and then those facing the other way. So let's try to do that. Now, depending on what machine you have, you might have to just click edit and duplicate, whatever you want. But first of all, I want to change the colors because let's just say I'm using the peach designs. So let me change the color here first. I'm thinking maybe white and what other color would look good with vibrant peach? I'll show you the color. It's not really peach. It's like an orange. Hold on, I had it here. Hmm. I can't lift the bolt up. Here it is. I'm thinking cream color or white. And I know that you don't all have the same. Oh, look. This matches perfectly. I like that. Look at that. I didn't even realize that. Hmm, might be scrapping that. Maybe I'll make two orange, <laughs> an orange pencil skirt. So what colors, if I want two colors of embroidery, would you pick for this? Would you pick cream? And I need another color. Cream and something classy, not too crazy. Maybe a lighter orange and cream? I don't know, what do you guys think? Anne says pink and blue, green, hmm. I'm gonna have to think about that one. I see somebody asking about, um, here we go. So Carolyn, I got your question. It's wash away stabilizer, it, it, it disappears. Once I embroider, I wash it and it's gone. It's like magic. Oh, that would be a cute idea, MWM. I saw another question though, where did it go? Sorry about that. Cream and blue, oh, that'd be good. Um, probably not. I will probably do a print shirt by itself and then a solid with embroidery. That might be a little crazy. Teal would look good on this, wouldn't it, Karina? Hmm, cream for sure, definitely cream. A blue on the screen. Like the blue fabric on the screen. Oh, this is green. Do these look good together? Oh, I guess I am wearing teal, aren't I? <laughs> Actually, probably any colors in here because this has orange. Maybe I'll tie that in together. I don't know. Linen, that would be a good color. Okay, I'll go back and read all your comments. And I know some of you watch the replays, so I'll be sure to read those as well. All right, so that's the color we're working with. 
You guys have a lot of good ideas, though. Oh, Darlene, so what if you're using a regular hoop? You would do the same thing. You would hoop the stabilizer and the tool in the hoop. Just don't pull it too much. So I will usually loosen up that hoop a lot to make sure that it's not too tight when you push it down. You don't want to scar the fabric. And tool is really fine. It can rip really easy. Ask me how I know that. All right, back to the machine. All right, well, then I'm just going to leave this, the green, for now. And it's kind of a teal. And I'll change the yellow to a linen color. So once I have this, if I want to have a whole row, now this would be if I'm adding trim down the center of my skirt. So I'll do that one first. Click on edit, click this button right here. And this is where you can add a design on top of or below. So let's add one above. Oh, it says it's too long. All right, let's move the design down a little bit. Really? All right, way down here, let's add one above it. There we go. And bring that to the center. Now, I can also add, I know I want to add something in the middle there. So click OK for this one. And now let's go ahead and add another design. Click on Add. I go in and check out my designs. can't remember. Some of those are really fun. Let's see what this one looks like. Click set. It's right on top of there. So click edit and let's move it to the right. I think that would look better on this side. So there's that design. What color should we go? Why don't we go linen on that one? Click edit, color, linen. Oops, wrong one. See how it changed that entire thing to linen? I don't want that. Reset. So it's showing me here I forgot to scroll down. Let's click on this linen here. Not that This one, this yellow. Change that to linen. There's that. Click OK. And now I'll do the same thing. Let's click plus at the top. Oh, I got to move it down a little bit. There we go. And move that to the center. And this time I'll move this just to the right a little bit. So see how easy it is to line up these rows? So if I was doing this for sleeves, I would just be doing it down here, which I'll do that here for you guys to see. But can you see okay in the, I know it's a really a light color. I'll make this a little darker. Is that better? So I've got two rows now. And now for this here, click under edit. Oh, I forgot, you can't duplicate it. So let's go ahead and add another row, add. All right, let's click on edit and move this over just a little bit so I can see it by itself. There it is. Click on edit. Let's go ahead and change the colors. Scroll all the way down to our design here. Change the yellow to linen. I kind of like that teal and cream. It's really pretty. Either that or maybe a lighter orange would look good. I don't know. Click OK. There's our design. Now I want to rotate it. Well, I could rotate it or mirror image. So there's 90 degrees or click mirror image. Both the same. I would take this design. Let's move it down to the bottom. Click edit. And if you're following along, I know I'm going fast because I only have a few minutes to be with you guys today. You can come back and watch this again if you'd like. All right, click OK. 
and take this design, let's move it to the center. So they're all lined up in the center. Move this one here. I'm gonna line that right up in the center of the hoop. Then I know that's where that's going to be. And you can either touch to move or use the arrows. There'll be a little box around. Okay, I really like this. This looks pretty cool. And then we'll take this one and move this one over. And guess what I have? I have an entire row of trim. So the, I designed this last collection because I wanted to be able to embroider trim on jackets, trim on sleeves, trim going down pants, dresses, you name it. And now look what I have here. That's an entire row of trim. Now, these, the center section stands out a little bit further than the other. It doesn't matter because normally I would take this and I would either continue adding on to it or cut that part off. So that would be the end. So it's totally your choice. That looks really good. All right, once I'm satisfied with the design, see if I've got, if it's the right distance. Yeah. Click OK. I'm going to save that to memory. So this is potentially one that I will use for uh, the trim on the center of the skirt. But also, I'm not sure if I want that center piece. So let's go ahead and delete that. And let's bring this one over to the center. This is so much fun to be able to play with embroidery designs this way. I think that looks pretty cool as well. Click OK. And let's go ahead and save that to memory. Then I don't have to go back and take this either. And even though I'm saving it to memory, I can still change these later on if I want to. Okay, now I'm gonna start for the sleeves. I'm deleting all of this. Delete, delete. Go in memory. And I can see the design that I saved right here. I must have forgot to, I forgot to save the second one, but that's not a big deal. I always save my designs, probably too many times, but I just want to make sure that I can see what's happening there. So let me just click return here. This. Okay, start with this down here, click rotate, and let's move that all the way down. And let's see if we can make it any bigger. I can't remember if I can or not. Now, if you're on the Luminaire, you have the option of just making it bigger. It will not change the density. So it's basically making this bigger without adjusting the stitches. And sometimes you can go just a little bit. Now, if I want to go a lot bigger, then I would want to use the density. It takes it back to its original position. So let's see if we can, how big this will go. Wow, check that out. That's pretty big. Uh, that would kind of like take up my whole arm. I think I don't want that. <laughs> So just click reset and it takes it back. All right, edit, rotate, let's go this way, all the way down to the bottom. I've already told the machine what hoop I'm using and I can see the outline right there. I did that earlier today. Now, if I want this to go right to the edge, now click edit, click size, and let's just stretch this out a little bit. Now, because I rotated it, it's probably this button here. Yeah, that'll look good. Kind of like oblong flowers. It's just up. It's a little bit too big. I 
and maybe just a little bigger. There we go. That looks good. And now click add. Let's go add in another row. Sounds like a uh, video game, doesn't it? Okay, this one looks really cool. Click set. There's that. I'm just gonna leave the colors for now. I can change them later if I decide to. So let's rotate that. So all of these designs, I just keep moving around until I really like the placement of them. Now notice something here, as I'm doing this, I'm thinking, wait a minute, if I wanna add another row, cause four of those won't go all the way around my arm, I might be better off doing the embroidery this way, similar to what we did for the skirt. So let's take this here, let's take this size, reset the size on this one. I don't think we changed the size. So now I'm going to change the fabric where this is the bottom of my wrist, like right here or right there. It doesn't matter. This gives me just a lot more options for how to getting all the way around my arm. First of all, you might embroider some that you cut off, but that's how I did the black one. Rotate 90 degrees. All right, so there now is the bottom of my cuff. Let's take this one, rotate. I think I would like those little things going the other direction. By the way, when you're doing this, you can either click here or here, so I can expand going that way or this way. And once they're put together, you can still uh, change them around if you want. There's a little knife feature right here, and that's how you cut those back open. Okay, that's kind of fun. You know, I think I'm going to, I cannot remember if I can rotate after I bring this in, but let's try it. Add one here. So there's another row. This is so much fun to add rows. Yes, I can. Now, I don't know if it will work or not because, oh, it rotated the whole thing. All right, so here's our little knife feature. I want to cut this. Right there. Cut. Okay, it separated it now. Now rotate 90 degrees. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> there we go. Yay. I knew it would show up eventually. <laughs> so that's pretty fun. So you can kind of see that's one, two different designs that I've just made a whole bunch of different things here. Now, um, in my black top that I did, I had these separated just a little bit more. So move these up. these up. So this was kind of its own trim right here. And then there's that one. So that looks pretty fun. Um, let me move this just a little bit more. And then this one. So this is all I would be able to embroider for the first part of the sleeve, but this is plenty to get around my wrist. If you want to change the colors, go ahead and change the colors. So now I just need to change the way I'm going to hoop, which is no problem at all. We'll go back to that screen. And then I'll be ready to embroider. So I don't have my little tool right here to take these off, but you can use your finger too. Because this was the stretch of the fabric. This is the grain line. I'm just gonna turn this. A different direction. I'm not turning the stabilizer, just the fabric.
And don't worry, I'll share a ton of photos with you. So by the way, next week there will probably not be a live show. There will be a lot of live shows on a lot of dealers pages, but on my page, I will be on their shows and I will share them with you so you can see what's going on. So now that we're going this way, I've turned the fabric. So now this will be my arm here, if that makes sense. I'm thinking, you know what would be really cool is a butterfly wrapping around. I'm gonna have to go through and see what other designs are on the machine. They also have those huge designs. Do you remember my dress from last year? Which is gonna probably make another appearance because I haven't worn it since then. Oh, actually, yes, I did. I forgot. that on there yeah just looked like it's crooked and slide it down here so I'm just making sure that everything is nice and flat there are no wrinkles anything like that you don't want that on your tool and basically once I'm done embroidering this embroidery stabilizer will disappear it washes away so now this will be my wrist so I will do trims going this way and then I still have plenty of fabric up here to do another section if I want, say, flowers or something like that higher up. This also will be wide enough that if I decide to make a short sleeve, those rows will go around, say, my bicep. All right, so I'm ready to go. My only decision is to pick a color. Well, I shouldn't say only decision. I've changed my mind about 15 times on this. <laughs> and I'll go back and see, oh, sage would be a good color. Uh, yeah, Darlene, I have this fabric. This is on, um, go to the Angela Wolf app. It's on there. I have the Ponte in like eight colors now. This is my favorite fabric. It doesn't wrinkle. It has rayon in it, so it's breathable. Yeah, cream and teal. That looks like that seems to be one of the guesses. Lisa, that's a good idea to pull a color from here and tie it in. So do you think a print and embroidered sleeves is a bit much? or since it's gonna be see-through, this has flowers on it, so I would definitely have to stick to the floral look. Any other questions for me? So next week, I will be in Austin. I will not be live with you here on the behind the scenes, but you'll see a ton of live shows and I'll share a ton of videos and a lot of, you're gonna be very excited. <laughs> <laughs> Great to see you live. Any other questions for me? I'm just scrolling through, checking out your questions and answers. Why such a large hoop to make a cuff? Well, if I want it to go all the way around here, now, if it's just a cuff like this, if I want, there was only four designs that would go around here. So I wouldn't, it wouldn't go all the way around. Make sense? So when I did the black sleeves, which I didn't bring today, I did the sleeves going this way in the hoop. That way it would go all the way around as it went up my arm. Make sense? Yeah. And also, once I do that, I can actually take some of those designs and trim them off and use them. You know how I do the free motion embroidery on jackets? That would look cool too. I thought so. Uh, what do you have going on, Jody? Blueberry Festival in South Haven. Oh, nice. No, I'm going to be in um, Austin. But South Haven has the best blueberries ever. Uh, no, Vicki, it's not a new hoop size. I've had this with the Luminaire. I think it's like um, something by 14. I don't. I can never remember the numbers off the top of my head. But no, it's been around for a while. Two years, I think. I think everyone's saying butterflies. Is the tool in the wedding fabric department? Probably. You mean the tool to open those? <laughs> Thanks, Lorraine. That probably is. 
Uh, Diana, are you going to be at a baby lock show in St. Louis? No, I won't. Diana, are you talking about uh, Karen's event in two weeks? I won't be because I had the brother convention. First of all, I'm a brother brand ambassador, so it, I wouldn't be at a specific baby lock event. But um, I couldn't make it because we have a fishing tournament that weekend and I had the brother convention. But I hope you have fun. Karen's awesome. And I know that their store is going to do a great job at that show. All right, everyone, that's a wrap. So I'm going to go embroider and I will send you photos because I have to keep rolling. All right, everyone, have a great day. And uh, if you need me, feel free to send a message. Fashion Sewing Club members, if you missed yesterday's live show, you can catch the replay in the club. I showed you, we've been working on skirts lately. So I showed some tips for making a super cute black ponty knit skirt that has a hidden elastic. It's kind of like the hidden comfort level. And also, how about on this blue one? Do you love that waistband? Hidden elastic. That means no belts. My clothes can't fall down. It's fantastic. <laughs> so it's in the replays in the club. And uh, I will see you guys. I will see you all next week, probably every day. But tomorrow, Brother Live at noon. Emily's going to be making a zippered pouch bag. Bye, everyone. Thank you.